Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold and resolve the 0xC0000E9 error you're coming across on your Windows computer. So it might come up when you're trying to do a system restore or recovery and that you're coming up with an error that says that there was a problem with a device connected to your PC. So we're going to go about resolving it without too much of a hassle here. And the first thing we need to do is open up our BIOS. So when your computer is booting up, if you're unaware, you have to enter into the boot menu here. So depending on your computer manufacturer, it might be slightly different. Could be the escape key, F2, F8, F12, something along those lines. Feel free to go on Google and type in how to access BIOS and then just follow that with whatever your computer make and model is. And now you want to use your arrow key on your keyboard to go down to enter setup and hit enter. Okay, so now that you've entered in your BIOS, there should be a key or legend at the bottom of the screen that says set up defaults or load optimize defaults, something to that extent. You want to go and tap whatever key that would be required to actually initiate that. So in my case, it's the F9 key. So it's going to say load default configuration now. I'm going to hit enter over the yes key, which should be the default position for that. And now that you've done that, I'm just going to tap the F10 key, which in my case is the save and exit selection. Save configuration and exit now. I'm going to hit enter because we're hovered over the yes entry, which is good. And then your computer should boot up normally at this point. Okay, so we're back, we booted into Windows, and that should be about it. So I do this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.